Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Talking Sound Podcast, coming to you live from the exhibit floor here in the Sands Convention Center in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, from CES 2020, with all of the coverage from the Tech Podcast Network. I am here with Jordan, with Thinker Tinker, uh, to talk about Octobo and his underwater adventure. He has so many adventures, it's amazing. This is an interactive toy for kids that does so much, not just for fun, but for education. Tell us a little bit about it, Jordan. Yeah, so this is Octobo. He's the first smart plush robot. So we're really trying to change the way kids and families interact with digital devices. So rather than kids building a relationship with a phone or a tablet or a screen, they're building a relationship with a character and a companion that they can have for years. Yeah, and as someone who taught early childhood development four, five, and six-year-olds many, many moons ago, uh, that is so important to actively get interactive with a kid when you're teaching them. It's something that gets skipped over in the classroom so frequently nowadays because of the needs of teachers, uh, the way that education is just running in our country. They don't have necessarily the time to figure out exactly how every kid learns and to tailor that learning experience to them. What? How does Octobo go about doing that? Yeah, sure. Um, so I think the mix of physical and digital is really its competitive advantage and helps in the educational aspect and makes Octobo a really great educational tool. Um, my mother is actually a teacher, so I know a lot about the education system and yeah. trying to manage all kids and different learning types and things. Yeah. Um, and Octobo is great because there's no like hard-coded system, so that makes the functionality really flexible. So we're able to upgrade and expand the digital contents, um, and as the user, they can just update the app like you would update another app on your phone. And this is Android compatible and yes. iPad compatible, all that. Just so you know, folks, there's not like a screen on the inside. This is what I loved. It's your tablet. So you, does it work on Amazon Fire? Yeah, so any oh seven to God. eight inch tablet, so perfect for Amazon Fire, um, iPad mini, Samsung Galaxy, and, all those. And I'm gonna have fun here for a second because all these little things all over Octobo are all interactive things. Whenever you push one, it's gonna give you a little activity and a little like, hey, what's going on? Like, see, it's sitting there moving around. Hey, come on. <laughs> and then it's got these cool little chips uh, for each. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's wildlife like coral and fish. And whenever you pop it right here on the flower, Octobo will give you a little lesson about the letter C. So really great, especially nowadays. Um, I mean, I grew up watching Sesame Street, but nowadays the Sesame Workshop does shows like Esme and Roy, stuff like that, that are literally about monsters. So like a son like mine, who is all about Esme and Roy at three years old, would totally identify with this little critter and what it can do for it. And it's also got interactive adventure books. Whenever you put the little uh, undersea discs on there, it takes you through different parts of the adventure book, stuff like that. So fully interactive, great stuff. Uh, where did the inspiration for this come from? Yeah, so our founder actually created it as her master's thesis project. She studied interactive games and media at USC. So this was her project. She was pregnant with her son at the time, and she was really looking for something that mix the physical and digital world because tech is the future but it's how you use it that we really need to change that's right it's about how we integrate it into our daily life it's about how we use it and like as a tech person myself it's hard for me not to just throw this tablet in the kid's face i even take my phone away from him now granted he's got his own little laptop that does not work because he loves doing work with me he'll come in and jump in while I'm video editing. Like he's got his own rack of gear because he wanted to touch my gear. So 
I'm as someone who taught kids, I'm not going to deny that. If you right. want to explore it, you can't touch this one, but this one is yours. So I gave him a bunch of non-functional gear. And seeing the fact that this person came up with this idea through a master's thesis in childhood education, and then also for in inspiration for a build for her own child, exactly. that's, that's just it. Necessity is the mother of invention. Yes. Where can everybody go to find their own version of Octobo? What is the price point on Octobo if that is available publicly right now? Yeah, so Octobo just launched. He's available on our website, thinker-tinker.com. Um, and it starts at 149, which includes the plush, the first story kit, and six interactive tokens. Um, and then there's also a bundle option that includes the plush, first story kit, as well as the letter search, which is a second story kit, includes 26 interactive tokens, plus additional mini games and a spelling game. And what is the price point on that? That is 199. Wow, for $20? more About or the fifty dollars more yeah it is a deal. that's so still incredibly amazing whenever you're talking about the technology RFD wise programming wise behind each one of these discs exactly. to know that you're getting an additional 30 something lessons out of that and games. absolutely and phenomenal what a great way to start preparing your child for pre-k kindergarten things like that especially for busy parents don't just throw them in front of a TV y'all Make sure it's interactive. Make sure that they learn something from it. Please, for all of us, make sure they're learning something with their play. Thank you so much for this incredible technology, Jordan. I cannot wait to have you up in the Tech Podcast studio talking about Octobo, everything else. Thank you so much for your time. Stay tuned for continuing coverage of CES 2020 right here on the homepage of the Talking Sound Podcast, TalkingSoundShow.com. You can also check it all out on Tech podcasts.com take care everybody until next time keep reaching for 11